Well, well, one of the great things that we had, we, in 91 championships, we had five of the eight finalists in 100 meters. We're right from here, and we all train together every day. And as many people know, we ran with Santa Monica Track Club. And for us, it was like a, a touring family. It really was. We had about 12 members, and we did everything together, and we traveled together. We went to the same meet. Sometimes someone would venture off. But we had a great relationship as a group. And we were lucky that people fit and if you didn't fit you didn't stay i mean we had a few maybe but for the most part it was a great that was a, a great times now to get this out of the way coach Telez did not travel very much he did not like to travel <laughs> so he was like well when you go over there it, it, do blah 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 yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah. just completely different than anything you don't want to do now with a, with an athlete i mean coach t we we our, our schedule he helped us set our schedule and sent us on our way <laughs> if you got it done, you got it done. If you didn't, you come back home and try to work on it. And uh, it, it was really interesting because now if you send a kid over uh, there, they're, they've got an entourage. You know, they've got, you know, massage therapist, a coach, and probably somebody to keep their head on straight. You know, we, we, we didn't have any of that. It was just go over there and get it done. And it was really a baptism by fire, I think. Uh, the first time I went over, it was really tough. Uh, and then as I uh, really um, – kind of watch how how Carl and, and, and Mike and Mike Marsh and Joe and the rest of the guys handled their business, I, I learned. You know, really, you know, I think uh, it was a, a learn by observation and also kind of co-opting the experience that, that Carl had because Carl knew how to do it, you know, and if you wanted to learn, just watch him, you know, <laughs> and, and that made it easier on all of the younger guys. No, 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 I mean, a lot of people think that's how, how sprinters are, you know, and maybe some folks outside of our group were, were, you know, like that, but, I mean, there was no room for that, really. Um, we had, uh, you had a, a good measuring stick of where you were every day, and believe me, all of us took a beating from each other at some point in time. As a matter of fact, Carl wasn't even the hardest guy to train with. It was probably Mike or yeah. one of the under-heralded guys in our group, Mark Withers, but nobody wanted to see him coming, you know, uh, and on, a, on a training day. And start. Ooh, no, nobody, <laughs> nobody wanted to work. I mean, it was, I mean, he beat you up every day. And, uh, you know, but, I mean, there, there really was no room for that. I mean, we had... Um, and I don't think it was in, in anybody's personality or in any, any of our nature uh, to be like that. As a matter of fact, I think if that was the kind of person you are, you probably wouldn't have lasted here yeah. because the minute you got it handed to you, you wouldn't have been able to handle it. So, um, you know, we, we figured out a way, you know, to make it work where we handled our business. When the, when the practice day was over, it was over. When the meet was over, it was over. You know, and, and, and in, in a way, it was almost like if, one of us were successful, all of us were successful because all of our boats rose with with the success of the group. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's you know, you said it exactly right. When the race, we didn't even talk about like, oh, that was a great race last week. Um, when, when meets were over, we talked about everything because we did everything together. Um, I remember one year we bought motorcycles together. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was really crazy, like walking into a place buying five motorcycles yeah. at once. And um, everyone's saying, none of you should have them, but we yeah, all did it. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think that was a unique part of it. But you know, all of our whole career, uh, Mike Marsh is a gold medalist, Leroy is a gold medalist, um, Floyd is a world record holder, Joe DeLoach was a, a gold medalist, um, Kirk Baptiste was a silver medalist. We all trained together, and these are, so, and we never even had to figure that out. We just were natural. and and. Uh, I agree. If you didn't fit into that, you didn't last. One, I, I think that one of the things that, that really stick out in my mind um, about you know, how, how we, we were as a group really involved, involved, involved Floyd. And it was really after Carl and I both bowed out. I was already coaching. Carl retired. And Floyd heard my assistant coach made the uh, made the US team uh, made the Olympic team uh, in Sydney in was that, in 2000 and 
you know, I was over there. My sister made that team. Uh, Carl was over there. And I remember, uh, you know, I think Carl's kind of busy doing a lot of other things, and I had my family. So we, really didn't see that mu- we didn't really see each other that much in Sydney. But we were both in the stadium uh, the night Floyd uh, uh, competed for the, uh, in the Olympic, the final in the 200. And we were there, go, <laughs> like, go, Floyd, go, go, come on. And, you know, Floyd, unfortunately, I think Floyd placed fifth or something like that. And we were just so disappointed, you know, because we wanted it for him just as much as we would have wanted it, maybe even more than we wanted for ourselves, because, because Floyd, Floyd struggled a bit, uh, you know, during our, our best times. Yeah, yeah. You know, and so you know, th- I think that really illustrates, you know, how, how we, we felt about each other, you know, that here we are, you know, we're, we're done, we've moved on, and Floyd's hang, hung in there another four, four more years, and he's trying to win, and we're like, oh, Screaming go. in the stands. <laughs> you know, now we're, you, we're, the, we're, we're like the brother and sister, the yeah, brother saying, yeah, go, like, go, 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 go. I mean, it was just amazing, and then afterwards, we were so bummed out. I was like, Dang. Because actually, was, he should have won the race. He really could have uh, jacked it that's up. not good into that, because I'm still, it's, I still think about that. He should have won that dad won race. And, and, you know, and that's why it's so natural now. Um, I went off, and I've kind of had to do some things in the last 14 years to find some things I wanted to do. And what's interesting, moving to L.A. was great. I went there to uh, work on entertainment. I did things. I did some movies. I did this and that. But reality, it was a nine-year vacation, okay? <laughs> and then... I said, let me try back in Jersey, and, th- and then that didn't work out. But the best part of Jersey for me is that I started coaching with my high school. And that's when I realized, you know, I want to do this. I, don't, I want to do this because I want to do it. My parents were coaches growing up, and um, Coach Telez and the relationships, all this stuff um, was perfect. And I just got a feeling to do it, and that's why um, my parents were never paid to coach. They were always out there working with kids. And so it's something that it's my ultimate way to get back to the sport. And when I moved back to Houston, um, looking at what's going on in the world in terms of my event, the long jump, especially in the sprints, and seeing that we could get a boost, I thought maybe I could help the program. And, and then I reached out to Leroy and said I'd love to help. But as a volunteer, because I don't really want to um, feel like this is a job for me. I want it to be like I'm here every day because I want to be. And I want to spend as much time as I can doing it because it's to me it's kind of completes my track career, and watching the kids uh, develop, uh, giving it a perspective that's different from which every coach does. I hope that I can really help. And then when I reached out to Leroy, he's like, "Let's go to dinner and talk about it." You know, so here we are. Mm-hmm.